Hi, my name is Rick Fess. Uh, I want to thank you and welcome you to my website. Uh, whether you've gotten here through YouTube or through a link through Facebook or Twitter, or if someone sent it to you, uh, just like to tell you a little bit about my website, which is spiritualfictionbooks.com. On my site, I review books on spirituality and self-help and improvement. And I started that uh, a long time ago when I was a little kid. I always used to like watching cartoons, and particularly cartoons that had a theme or a, a lesson in them. Although as a kid, I didn't realize the lesson that they had. Uh, particularly at Christmas, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Both of those were, you know, excellent for kids, but they also had a, a lesson in them in that, uh, in Rudolph. Rudolph obviously saved Christmas for everyone, and in the Grinch, he turned from a bad who to a good who. Um, later on in life, during my teen years, uh, like most teens, I wasn't uh, all that religious or spiritual. Uh, but in my early 20s, I had a boss who gave me a couple of books. Uh, one was The Power of Positive Thinking, and the other was Think and Grow Rich. Now, I didn't realize they were spiritual books, and probably most people wouldn't consider them spiritual either. I certainly didn't. But they taught me to... Um, focus on positive thinking, um, applying myself, and things like that. That led me to, to other authors, and in fact, one of the first spiritual fiction books I read was The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma, and I actually got to see him speak live in Toronto. And other authors that I've read since then, a couple of my favorites as well, Wayne Dyer, uh, Mitch Album, and I particularly like The Sermon on the Mount by Emmett Fox. I also, uh, these types of books, they seem to just gravitate towards me whenever I'm in a bookstore, that's the type of book that I pick up. Um, in 2003, I had a fairly serious business setback, and uh, which affected me mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Um, my background, my reading, what I'd learned previous to that really helped me through that, and it just made me more committed to to focusing on spirituality. Um, currently I'm writing my own book, a spiritual fiction novel titled Is There More, uh, which is loosely based on my life and on other experiences that other people have had uh, that have been related to me. And there is a spiritual aspect to it, uh, my guardian angel, as I like to call him. And uh, you'll find about him when you read the book. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook, just uh, look for Rick Fess, and I'm also on Twitter, and my Twitter name is at Rich Inside, and I believe that if you're rich inside, the outside will look after itself. Thank you for listening.